I've literally been up about 15 minutes as you can obviously tell um i've got my breakfast here so it is actually easter weekend um so i decided to have some hot cross buns for breakfast but i opened my butter and it was moldy and honestly i have a real fear of mold where i'm like i've just opened that butter and have i breathed mold in like is mold gonna be on my lungs like it's definitely, I just overthink it way too much. But I actually had a couple of these what I stole from a hotel a few weeks ago in my cupboard. So we're having chocolate and salted caramel hot cross bun with Nutella, which is obviously going to be delicious. So it's not the end of the world. Um, I am doing a bit of a day in the life today. Um, sorry, I just need to get this on my hot cross buns because they're going cold. Um... I'm going to do a bit of a day in the life. I have a day off today from my full-time job, obviously with it being Easter weekend. Um, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to do like what a day looks like uh, when I'm not in the office and I'm not on my full-time job. I was going to do like a evening routine thing, um, but honestly, I get so tired when I get home from work now. I just crash basically um yeah so i am also planning to do like a week in the life thing soon as well which i think would be really fun just to show you like what it's like having like essentially three jobs <laughs> um so yeah so anyway today is just going to be like a day mainly at home um i do have a few things to go and do so i will need to do them but for now i'm just going to eat my hot cross buns i've got my chocolate on and watch tv for a little bit my mum is coming later um for lunch she said she's gonna bring some dinner with her so that'll be nice um and yeah they've not got like a rigid plan today and i like that i've also got some stuff to show you as well which is very exciting um so yeah i'm just gonna eat this and chill out for a bit and then i'll come back to you hopefully looking a little bit more awake okay so um i finished my breakfast i've started tidying up but I thought now would be the perfect opportunity to share something with you. So if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen some little snippets of this already. But I basically got an email last week, or maybe the week before now, from a lovely girl at Bondi Sands to say that they have seen my YouTube videos and they really liked my content and they wanted to send me some of their skincare range, which is honestly just mind-blowing <laughs> um so i've got some stuff to show you here and this is honestly like a really big achievement for me so yeah i'm i'm very excited for this um so here is the package that they sent um can't believe it so this is what is inside so they've got a little skincare band um which is really really cute and i love the colors of this as well um and then there are three skincare products. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about each of one of these and what they do and give you a little review <coughs> of the products that I've been trying out. So um, this is how it came. I have actually used these products, but I just wanted to put it back and get like the full effect of how they came. First up, we will talk about their Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So this is their Thirsty Skin Serum. So this is with 2% Hyaluronic Acid. Um, and it says apply two to three drops of Bondi Sands Thirsty Skin Hyaluronic Acid Serum to clean damp skin. Once absorbed, follow with other serums or oils to finish your moisturiser. For best results, apply morning and night. So, a couple of things about this. I didn't actually realise that this one was supposed to be applied on damp skin, which um, when I first tried it, I did it on my, um, just my dry skin. Um, and it was quite like harsh on my skin. Um, but then I tried it with the damp and it just for some reason really works and I guess it sort of 
lightens it and waters it down a little bit and this has honestly been incredible i hope that you can see i'll see if i can show you in a better light but my skin has been so glowy you can see it here i've got nothing on my skin i've done nothing today this is just how i've woken up so um this is definitely making a difference obviously with hyaluronic acid the most important thing to remember is make sure you're applying spf because if you apply this and go out into the sun um without protection it can cause irritation to the skin so that is the first one next up is this sweet dreams night moisturizer and this also has hyaluronic acid and squalene so this i love so i am honestly a sucker for anything that works for me whilst i'm sleeping any kind of lip mask like overnight lip mask overnight moisturizer overnight mask anything like that it's like you know i'm doing work while i'm asleep essentially well i'm not the product is but um yeah very much love this um it is very hydrating it feels great on the skin i've got oily skin and it hasn't made my skin any oilier at all so it's definitely suitable for oily skin um so yeah it says it provides up to 72 hours of hydration so you can wake up with plump and perky skin which i would say has definitely worked and then this one is honestly probably my favorite this one was like the underdog for me so i was really excited to try those types of products but claim mass to me can be really wrong sometimes so i don't know if anyone else has experienced this someone did say on instagram that they feel the same clay mask can obviously clear out your skin clear out your pores reduce the appearance of pores which is amazing but they can sometimes leave your skin feeling very tight um and very dry and it takes quite a lot to get that moisture back in your skin this doesn't do that so i didn't even feel the need to apply moisturizer after using this i did but i didn't feel the need to and that's one thing where i'm like oh my god so this is the bondi babe purifying clay mask with blue spirulina extract hope i've got that right so this i am obsessed with i posted a picture using this on my instagram and there was loads of people saying that they wanted to try it and honestly you would not regret it if you did um so you can actually buy these products on the bondi sands uk website but also um on boots as well so if you want in to try any of these out then have a look on there and what we're going to do actually is i'm going to do a mask now because i did one maybe three or four days ago so i would recommend doing maybe once or twice a week for the clay mask you don't want to do too much and then obviously keeping on top of your skincare um throughout the week as well so i'm gonna do a little mask now and i am gonna tidy up a little bit while the mask is on um because i always find like it's good to just put it on carry on with your day and then clean it off i also need to get a shower as well um and then i do have one more thing to show you as well so i'm going to unbox the april glossy box with you as well i am doing this a little bit later than i usually do um and the reason for that is well I'll, in fact i'll speak to you about that later on but we'll get it unboxed first so first thing i'm seeing more chocolate gifts more chocolate products and honestly i'm living for it this is the triple chocolate beauty bite by beauty bites um, so it has collagen live cultures fiber vitamin c and vitamin e non-gmo and made from natural ingredients very excited to try that out i've just had a lot of chocolate for breakfast so i won't try that now um next up is this i never know how to say this downton paris Dutton paris um and this is a liquid eyeshadow love the color of this um it is a very very nice sort of like a bronzy colour. I feel like that'll look really good with like really nice bronzy glowy skin. Um, very impressed. And then next up is the Sand and Sky Australian Emu Apple Super Bounce Mask. Oh, very nice. So I think from what I've seen, because this is a glow and plump mask, this has like a bit of a clay type texture as well. Um, so I'm very excited to give that a go and try that one out. Say, oh my god, we've got loads more. Oh, very excited okay next up is the mitchell and peach english english growers body souffle oh this light and easy absorb moisturizer contains vitamin e shea butter honey and honey to nourish and soften and protect the skin that's that's what you need a moisturizer that does or a body moisturizer that does absolutely everything that you need all in one go because i honestly cannot be bothered just like applying a million products to get it it's like i want an all-in-one Oh, so we have the next up is the Morning Expert Hyaluronic Serum, 2% Hyaluronic Acid by This Works. 
So I love this works product. I feel like they really do work. So that is this one. And then last but not least, God, we've got loads. Leaf and Seed Smooth Start Bond Restruct Shampoo with Peptide Complex and Marshmallow Extract. Oh my God, I'm so excited to try that. I wonder what... Oh yeah, that smells good. That smells really good. So as always, I will leave a link to the Glossy Box down below. I'll put my code on screen now. Make sure that you use that if you are a new Glossy Box customer. You can get your first box for, I think it's £10 now. It used to be 11 um, with my discount code plus free delivery. So if you're wanting to try it out, then definitely do that. I would recommend these as gifts as well because I've actually picked one up for my auntie for her birthday as well. Um, and it's just a really good like little treat like everything comes packaged nice it's all well presented you've got a mixture of products so very exciting um so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna put my mask on um so i'll show you how i apply the mask and then we're gonna get to cleaning because i imagine my mum will probably be in an hour or two so i always try to make sure i'm tidying up before she comes um because she always used to say to me I can't wait to see what your house looks like when you move out. It's going to be so messy. I mean, the background kind of looks a little bit messy, but that's just because I only just got up. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to put this mask on now and then we're going to tidy up and see where the rest of the day takes us. Go a little tight so i always use a face mask brush to apply any kind of clay face mask just because they can be incredibly messy if you're using your hands you obviously can use your hands and your fingers to apply it but this literally now will just rinse off here and my hands are completely clean so um i always try and use these you can get them off ebay for literally like two three quid so they're definitely inexpensive and worth the investment in my opinion um so i'm going to leave this to work its magic um and do a bit of tidying and then i'll come back to you once it's dried and show you what it looks like okay so this has been on for about 10 to 15 minutes and let me zoom you in sorry the window open so it might be a little loud but um you can see here where it has all started to dry down and it cracked a little bit because I spread my face and I could feel it crack. Um, you'll start to see it drawing out like the um, some impurities in my face and stuff like that. But it is completely dry to touch so this is when we can wash it off. So um, I would recommend trying to use some kind of microfiber cloth um to take this off so i have this one here um and i'm just gonna wet this and then start taking it off that way okay so that is all off now while my face is still damp i'm going to apply the hyaluronic acid um because it's supposed to be applied to a clean damp face so i'm just going to put a really small amount so it's literally the tiniest bit it's going to rub it between my hand and onto the face and the neck don't forget the neck and then i'm just going to leave that to soak in now um and then once that's soaked in i will apply um I'm not sure if I'm going out today or not. I probably will do it at some point. So I'll need to apply an SPF or a moisturiser with an SPF in. I'm going to pop my eye cream on um, and a little face mist. And then my skin will be all nice and glowing. My mum and brother have been and gone. And I was going to sort out my skincare cupboard. I got all the stuff out to have like a big declutter. But honestly, I'm like a bit tired. I'm tired now. Um, I've been getting up a lot earlier and going to sleep earlier. So sometimes it gets like the afternoon and I'm just like, I just need a break. I need a rest. So I'm going to watch the new Kardashians um, that came out, I think yesterday. I've been seeing like spoilers everywhere. So I was going to wait to watch it because I've been re-watching the old ones. But I keep seeing spoilers and I'm like, it's just going to ruin it for me. So I'm going to watch this one 
and just put up with the fact that I'm like jumping in time, but it's fine. So I'm going to watch this now um, and just chill out for an hour and then I am going to get up and sort my skincare out. So we'll do that together. Wow, it looks so different. I was like, I don't know how they're going to make this different to how it used to be, how they're going to make this like new like how are they gonna make it look so different but like even this intro bit it looks so different i am shocked i will come back to give my verdict at the end um so i have finished watching uh the new episode of keeping up with kardashians also can i just say i have said all day that i am gonna make myself look more respectful and i haven't done it and that is because i couldn't be bothered basically i am not actually going anywhere um other than this evening i've been nipping out for like half an hour so i just couldn't be bothered to be honest is what it is um but yeah so i watched the first episode it is definitely different it definitely has a different vibe um it definitely feels very like a mixture of like selling sunset vibes with like the transitions and it's like the names coming on and stuff but then the actual um think showing them feels very real and raw like i feel like i'm seeing them in a whole different light and it's more like realistic like the way that they look the way that they talk it feels yeah it just feels different so i think i'm gonna like it to be honest i was very very shocked at scott disick the way that he looks he to me, it looks like he has aged 10 years. I, d I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I've been watching the old ones and then I've skipped to this one and then I'm going to go back. But, like, even seeing him on the last season that they did, which was, what, like, two years ago, he, to me, looks like a whole different person. He genuinely looks, in my opinion, really sad and really a little bit unwell, to be honest. Very unhealthy, but um, I really hope that he isn't obviously but it's just like weird to see him like that um but yeah it's very it's very different so obviously i'll continue watching it i think they come out every week which is a bit annoying i'd rather just binge but i am actually doing now is i did say i was going to sort my skincare out but i will do that in a little bit but i am going to do my nails so i chipped them clean in today and just sat and peeled the rest of them off which i wouldn't recommend it's supposed to file and soak but I'm not going to lie, I do peel mine off most of the time. Um, so I'm not sure what to do. I am going away this weekend to Liverpool with the girls. We are going, I don't know where it is. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to vlog. So I'll probably vlog that. But um, yeah, so I need to do something that's going to flatten my outfit. And my outfit is jeans with a brown shirt. Um, I have French on my toes. But I'm thinking, do I do like a pink um like a brown french like this kind of brown i was gonna wear orange heels so maybe not no do you know what i'm gonna do a brown french i don't know how that's gonna look to be honest it could look like i've just got shit on the end of my nails but let's give it a go because what have we honestly got to lose i did my nails and i hate them <laughs> i was probably halfway in and i was like nope don't like these but I'd already committed way too much um, to them. I just did like a little French. Not the neatest. They're not all the same thickness. And I don't like them. But the good thing is they'll have to last me a couple of days. And then I can change them. I mentioned earlier. I don't actually remember what I was talking about. But I said I was going to talk about... I think maybe why I've not really posted on YouTube or anything. And so I had COVID a few weeks ago and I honestly think that I have long COVID. I cannot shake the feeling of being tired like pretty much all day. So I've been sleeping. Oh, that's why I was going to talk about it because I was talking about sleep before. Um, I usually go to bed in the week at like one o'clock and I have to be up for work at like seven. So I've always been like, a late sleeper i've always struggled with sleep the last few weeks i've been going to bed at like 11 and waking up like naturally before seven before my alarm and then like this morning i set my alarm for half nine i woke up at eight like my sleep has just been very different to what it used to but i have had this weird thing where i've been like 
exhausted and just haven't literally had the energy to do anything like my eyes now I like to tired to the point where I feel like I should be in bed be going to bed and it is 20 past four <laughs> and I get bouts of it through the day and I honestly think that it's probably long covid I think that it's still like affecting me and I just can't wait for it to like just go I've been taking multivitamins um I've been just trying to get rest when I can like now I feel like I should nap and I don't know whether to have I'm not sure <sighs> whether to have a nap now or not because <sighs> maybe I ha if I have if I'm able to nap in the next like half an hour that'll be fine but any later i'm gonna mess my sleep up tonight so i reckon the skincare thing is gonna have to wait also i've just realized i've been filming on manual focus pretty much all day i think and i've not set the focus once so if these clips have been blurry i apologize i spent too long napping <laughs> mm. so now i need to get ready and go to the train station. Ay, ay, ay. I'll just see when I get back. Because I can't prop the camera up anywhere in the car. So I'm going to just leave you here. So it's actually a few days later now. Um, when I got back, I really didn't do much. I literally watched TV for the rest of the night. So it wouldn't have been very entertaining, but before I edited this video, I wanted to just sort of sign it off. I look a bit of a mess right now because I was out last night, um, but I'm just chilling out now. And I actually do have videos coming next, uh, a makeup tutorial, and then I actually have my filming room transformation, which has been a very long time in the making. I've been waiting for like one more thing, but I'm at the point where I think I'm just going to have to film the finished result and just have it as it is because it's very small details that most people probably won't even notice but um yeah so I'm gonna chill out now edit and um yeah I just wanted to say thank you for spending a day with me at home um I thought I was gonna do a lot more like I don't know varied stuff but it was very realistic it's what I did that day so yeah so just a bit more authentic I suppose but yeah thank you very much for watching this video I hope that you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it please don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see you here again very soon bye